Hi, I'm Brandon Regero. I just wanted to introduce you to our Japan trip. The, uh, the trip's going to be happening next summer, but I'll get to that. I just wanted you to understand what, we're, what our plan is, what we're going on, where we're going to be, um, and why we're going. So let's get started. As I said, we're going to be going to Japan, and you probably have already heard that from your child. Um, this is the website right up here in the top corner, and if, if you want more information than what I've given you, it will certainly be there, and if not, you can contact me and I'll do my best to answer your question. You can also just ask EF directly. Um, I'm just a teacher. They are the tour company, so they definitely know everything about it. I know more about uh, just about what you guys need to do to go on the trip. Um, so just a quick uh, rundown. I'm going to talk about Japan, uh, why I like Japan, why I like the opportunity that your kids get to travel. I'm going to talk about EF, who we'll be traveling with, and I'm going to talk about the logistics of the trip and everything that's included in it. So up first, why travel? I love seeing the whole world. You get so much out of you, get, you learn so much from seeing how other people live their lives, from seeing how, the, how other places operate that are... Japan's such a different place from, from our own country that I, our kids are just going to be... They're going to learn so much just from the moment they land. They are going to learn everything. Gonna, it's going to be a whole new world. It's going to be a, a very different place. Um, and I think that's great perspective for anyone. <clears throat> So our trip is going to consist of going to mostly southern Japan. Since it, it's a school trip, so of course it's going to focus more on the history and the culture of Japan. And it's really this area, Imperial Japan, like the most historic part, is really about this area. And that's we're going to be seeing a, a ton of castles. Um, Tokyo is the capital now, but at different times it was Kyoto, Osaka, and it's it's their capitals changed a lot more than the United States has. Here's a quick rundown of where we're going to be going. Um, we're going to land, check out Tokyo for a few days. Tokyo's huge, so there's tons to do, and then we're going to finish off with, uh, not finish off. Then we're going to end up in Hakone, which is incredibly beautiful. I can't stress enough how beautiful Hakone is. Um, that's why I'm excited for Hakone. Uh, Kyoto is the old capital and Osaka is also very beautiful and has another castle that we'll be seeing and you're, you've probably heard of Hiroshima because we blew it away but it's actually a incredibly beautiful place and you don't have to worry about and the Japanese people aren't gonna be mad at us any for visiting Hiroshima um, we uh, it's a perfectly normal thing for us to go there um, so just a little bit about EF Tours. They're a huge company. The, the important part that matters to us is if anything goes wrong, they, have, they can handle it. They are, they, if there's a catastrophe in Japan, God forbid, they'll, either, can, they'll make sure they get us home right away or if we just want to finish off our trip in somewhere else, maybe they'll, I mean, I'm just throwing something out there, maybe we'll be able to convince them to spend like the, the last half of our trip in Australia because some, something horrible has happened. But, I'd really doubt something horrible will happen. In fact, the reason, only reason I'm willing to do this trip is because I think Japan is the safest place on the planet. Um, you can look up the statistics on shootings there. It's, it makes America look like Mad Max. Um, so I'm pretty excited for the trip and for the opportunity the kids get. Um, there, oh, I'm, I skipped something on that previous slide. I just wanted to mention that this is the time we are going. Notice it's 2017. It's not this summer. It's next summer. So there's plenty of time for fundraising, or if your kid just wants to get a job, they can do that. So this is, it's really just about such a learning experience, and they get so much out of it that that's why we do these trips. That's why this company exists. Um, they're learning the whole time, but also there are ways there are going to be programs, and as long as most of the kids are interested, or not the kids, but the parents, I'm going to make sure they, can, they are getting credit for this trip. 
I went on two EF tours when I was a kid. I didn't do any work. There was nothing academic about it to me except for the actual trip itself. And every day you're seeing something new and interesting and learning something. So even if they elect not to get any credit for it, they're still going to have a great learning experience. Um, so these are some of the things that their travel plan covers. Uh, cancellation and interruption, that's what I was saying. Like if some horror, something un, unimaginable happens, they'll, they make it better. Um, if someone gets sick or there's a, some sort of baggage prob problem, they're, it's, it's an American company, everybody speaks, I think it's an American, I'm 99% sure it's an American company, but I know their, their main country they deal with is the United States, so they're an English speaking country, they just employ people from all over. Um, so we have a tour director with us 24 seven, we'll have one chaperone for every six students. Um, I, I wanna make sure at least two parent chaperones come. Uh, but uh, definitely, I want an even mix of male and female, just for, so it just makes sense, you know. 24-hour um, emergency on-call service. Like I said, I don't think anything's gonna happen in Japan. It's super safe, but there's, if something did go wrong, EF's the right company to be involved with. Um, here's what, your, what your, you or your child is responsible for, spending money. So souvenirs, lunch. Lunch is the only f meal they're gonna have to pay for. And lunch in Japan's actually really cheap. If your kid likes ramen and is happy eating Japanese food, they're gonna spend less than $10 on lunch every day. If they wanna, I mean, if that changes if they wanna go to a, a nice sushi restaurant or if they wanna eat American food. American food is much more expensive, especially beef. Um, and then tips. Uh, our bus driver and tour director are going to be awesome. And then our local guides, we want to give them something too. Um, and then the passport and visa fees, that's all on how you handle that. Um, you got to make sure that you get your passport at least six months um, before our return date. Uh, not six months, uh, at least uh, 14 weeks before we leave but your passport needs to be valid at least six months after our return date. That's their only requirement. Um, if you're not a US citizen, you may need a special visa. Uh, it really depends on the relationship between the country and your passport and Japan. Uh, so this is what we get, round trip flight, hotels with private bathrooms. That's actually worth mentioning in Japan because the traditional hotels, which we are gonna stay in one, so I'm curious, I'm, I'm guessing they picked one that has normal bathrooms, but a traditional Japanese hotel, um, I believe, I've, it's been a while, but I believe it's called a ryokan. Um, they do not, they share, it's communal bathrooms. Um, I'm not into that. So I hope, I hope uh, it's not a, gonna happen. It doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, especially since it says it right here. Um, but uh, I guess if we did it one day, it wouldn't be a big deal to me. I, we'd have to talk to our tour group if it was a problem. Um, the comfortable motor coach is huge. I went on two EF tours and both times we had amazing buses that were super comfortable with great drivers. Our tour director, my Japanese is passable, but we'll definitely have a Japanese speaking tour director. You don't have to worry about that. Um, everything's gonna be educational and informative. Sightseeing is gonna be great. Um, they cover our entrance fees to attractions. There's only one attraction they don't cover our entrance fee to, and that's because I've added it on, and everybody I've ever known that's been there has said it is beyond worth it, and you can't go to Japan and not go to the Studio Ghibli Museum. So we did add that on to our trip, um, and it was only, I believe, $35. If it's a big deal and, you're, and you, you're that 30, you think it's not fair that, that you have to pay that $35, uh, I guess we, if and that's the case for a bunch of people, we'll figure something out. Maybe we can take it. I'm sure we can take it off. Um, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's it's supposed to be. It's it's not as big as Disneyland, but it's supposed to be better than Disneyland. So that's that's a pretty lofty claim from a lot of people. So here's a quick rundown of the trip. Um, we've already. It's been open to Anime Club for a while, so we're getting close to the end of the enrollment discount. We only have a few days left on that, um, but that's only $100. Uh, we're, 
notice that if this gets broken up. You do not have to pay all of it at one time. You can pay 280 a month, which is only 950 a day. That's easy to fundraise. That's, I fundraised one of my trips as a kid, and uh, my parents were nice enough to pay for the other. Um, I, I didn't fundraise. I got a job. Um, so your kid can probably get a job if they're 16 or older. Um, I, I, it's up to you. I mean, I don't want to tell you your kid what to do. Um, that's that's totally on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, if you're an adult and you don't want a chaperone, and if if you pay if you pay to come as an adult and not a part of our, and not and not as a chaper as a, a one of the chaperones that comes for free, um, then I, I I'll appreciate that. I'm not I'm gonna do put you to work only as much as you're willing. I I will expect you to you know be a responsible adult and not. Uh, make the students do things they shouldn't be doing, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I've everybody says everybody I've talked to that's taken that's t done these trips at this school says the the parents have been great. Um, and I am going to have our kids on like not just a two buddy system but a three buddy system because I'm paranoid. Um, students need uh, here's your payment options. You can pay in full. You can set up a payment plan. And you can do your own payment plan, and it's a fifty dollar plan fee on that one. But that one also lets you take pay with Visa or Mastercard. So I think that's just because they don't want to eat the credit card charge. So here's the information. Once again, the website is right here. I'll make sure it's also on the YouTube video. And here's a phone number. I believe that's the phone number for EF. I have not called it. This is our tour number. It's the same number that's part of our website. And this is the deadline for the discount. Um, I believe you can sign up up to the, within six months of our trip. And that would be about a year from now. Um, so you've got um, a year from now basically to register. Although once we get to 40 students, it's full. So don't wait too long, please. And I guess that's it. Um, I'm gonna just to show. I'm gonna show you just what I look like really quick, so you don't think I'm some weird, creepy guy. Hi, um, I am Mr. Riguero. Uh, I do look a little young. I'm a little. It's. I'm in my 30s. Uh, I do not have kids of my own. Um, but I've been to Japan, I, I've led field trips, um, my friends trust me with their kids, so, which I admittedly are small babies, but um, I, your, it, it is more, your kids' health and well-being is more important to me than my own. Uh, so I hope you'll appreciate that, and uh, that's the end of our video.